Now, your news on the go. If you drive 290, also known as Melia Center Road, you won't be crossing this railroad crossing today. Nope. The notorious rough tracks near Liverpool Pool and Spa are being ripped out, even though there are several signs up right now telling you the road is closed. Many drivers missing the warning signs and being forced to turn around. That happened on day one. Here's a live look right now at the current situation. It's expected to be closed at least another day. You can follow the detour signs to get around. A husband and wife are waking up in the hospital after their camper exploded in the town of Spafford. Troopers say 75-year-old Robert Hamlin and 74-year-old Barbara Hamlin were taken to Upstate Hospital with minor injuries after their Chevy camper was blown apart. Police say the couple left their propane tanks open and attached to the camper. The stove inside may have also been left on, causing the blast. The Oswego County Legislature is tackling the Addis Ethanol plant in Volney in a special session tonight. This time last year, a silo fire had been burning for months. The county bringing in a private contractor to get rid of the burning materials. Since then, there's been a search for a new owner to return the plant to good use. $4 million is how much it's going to cost West Genesee to buy the Westville Golf Course, but there won't be any sale of the Camillus Course before the community can chip in. There are a number of community events before a public vote in December. The first is happening today. West Jenny is holding a handful of what it's calling coffee and conversation sessions. Today's is in the high school library at 3. West Jenny, not the only school buying property, also totaling $4 million. Lemoyne bought 20 homes around its campus, according to the president. A study showed the area was getting less safe to prevent homes around the Salt Springs neighborhood going to out-of-town landlords. The school decided to buy them up instead. $4 million is nothing compared to the latest Powerball jackpot since no one took home the top prize. It now jumps to $835 million. It's the ninth largest in lotto history. The next drawing is tomorrow night. Oh, and you might need to win the lottery if you want to see the Bills play Miami this weekend. Tickets for Sunday's game at Highmark Stadium start at $240, and that's just in the 300 level on Ticketmaster. Seats in the 200 level going for about $2. Thousand. Hopefully we can slow down the Dolphins. 70 points wow. last Sunday. Whew. Well, this is not as pricey, but tickets are not cheap for the SU Clemson game. Prepare to pay around 60 bucks or more per ticket to see the Orange tackle the Tigers in the Dome. Kickoff is at noon, and you can watch all the action Saturday right here on News Channel 9.